and he, you know, he stinks like a pig. Nah, she'll sleep with him. Um, so, so I mean, yeah, well, that's, you're talking like a woman because you don't care. I mean, I don't, you know, I, I, mean, I, mean, I really don't want to be born into the world with like, you know, a vagina on my ass and one testicle. I mean, I don't want to be some kind of, you know, whatever thing, you know, and just, oh, well, Gary's just one of those, you know, he's just an everything kind of guy. He can go any way you want, you know, it doesn't matter. I mean, just, I don't know. I mean, it just ruins the whole Romeo Juliet kind of story if it's androgyny and androgyno. I mean, what the hell is that? What, are they going to go out and skip? You know, they don't have sex. They just go outside and skip together. We skipped to my loo, and we had a nice skip together, And uh, but a family doesn't like us skipping together. I mean, I just, I don't know. I mean, there's a point where this androgynous thing just goes was too fucking far. I mean, I like, uh, I don't know, well, there's a way to do it, where we just snap our fingers, you know, and we all fall into this whatever mushy, you know, um, whatever it is, this, this, you know, we could just eliminate the race thing and eliminate the sexual differences and all that kind of crap. All right, fine, but I don't think, you know, the road getting there is just so fucking hard. I just don't see it happening tomorrow, and I just wouldn't want to be born into a world where I'm, you know, I don't want to be too fucking different. I mean, if you're different, like, 12-inch penis different, okay, but, but different where you got, like, a 2-inch penis, that sucks. And, like, you know, who wants to be a woman with a mustache? I mean, fuck. That's, it's not a win, you know? I know you got a mustache when you're 13. Cool. Yeah. I get you lots of dates. <coughs> in a way, but, you know, you are talking from a privileged position. I mean, you are white, you are tall, you've always been, like, the, the, the athletic body type. You, you were never, like, different in terms of physical experience. Uh, appearance, you were in the attractive norm, so, you know, you never experienced actually being different and being bullied for it and, you know, for not what you think or how you act, but just because of how you look and, you know, what you are. I think I can emphasize, I mean, I know it's being a big I don't think you're being fair, okay, because I was a runt. All right, I was the smallest kid in the class. When I was in high school, okay, when I was in high school, I was still, I only weighed 97 pounds. When I was 13, 14 years old, I still was weighed under 100 pounds. I was a little runty, awkward mess. All right, I had nothing going for me. I could barely speak English. I mean, I was as out fucking cast as you, I had, I went to special ed. All right. I mean, I didn't take a yellow bus, but you know, I was put in special classes for the retards. All right. I was effectively a retard in school. Okay, in grammar school, I was classified as a fucking retard. So I mean, I didn't have no fucking. Oh yeah, I'm Joe Jock, and I got a great life. No, I was a piece of shit, fucking loser shit. I got. I look literally. Valentine's Day, everybody puts a little box on their desk, all right? No Valentine's in my fucking box, okay? Nobody had the guts to put a Valentine in there, all right? It was like, no, he has leprosy. You can't, you don't put a Valentine in his box. I mean, I was just, I was, it was my life was horrible. A uh, privileged white guy. Oh, I was as black as you could fucking be. Well, up until high school, I was actually fighting with all the guys. I was pretty much a tomboy. I had short hair and I was skinny as old fuck and I hated fucking guys. Oh my god, I just thought they were so annoying. You know when they reach that age, you know, above like seven or eight years old and they start developing some, some attraction to females, not sexual attraction, but they realize they are different and they have this, you know, confusing feelings. So, you know, the best way to express them is to hit them <laughs> or to do nasty things to them or to be real motherfuckers that would fight to, him, to them on daily basis. Yeah, my only saving grace there was I had a you know I had a twin sister, so she's the only thing that really saved me. If it wasn't my sister, I would have been dead. I would have died. I would have died in grammar school <laughs> you know, if it wasn't for my sister. What the age difference? Oh, age difference with your twins, duh. 
Yeah, yeah, we, so we didn't have much, 10 minutes. And you were, and you were in the same class, class and shit? Yeah, well, we were when we were really young, which was really good for me. You know, because like I said, she was, every, she was my, I, I, without my sister, I didn't, I didn't exist, you know, outside the house. You know, I ignored her in the house, but, you know, outside the house, if she wasn't there, I was, I was, I was like a cripple. Um, and then they deliberately separated us because they said, oh, you're, they're too dependent on each other. And so they deliberately, around sixth grade, forced us into different classes. And that's when everything went to shit for me. I mean, my life just turned into absolute. Absolute crap! Because I didn't have my I didn't have my friend anymore. You know, I didn't have nobody then. Then I was completely alone, retard, loser, piece of shit, and I was was a non-existent human. Yeah, I'm sorry for the for the white guy thing. I mean, I always imagined that you were a weirdo when you were a kid, but I always thought that you were like a good-looking weirdo for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, I think I was good-looking, but it doesn't. You know, when you're you know, I could say, when you're enough of a loser, it doesn't matter. But I had, I, you know, you said short hair, you know, until I was in my teens, I had a crew cut. So I had white hair, all right? Crew cut white hair, which is essentially being bald. You know, no eyebrows, you know. So, I mean, I did have some defects. And I had a big lumpy head. Well, come on, I saw some pictures with you as a small child. You didn't look like you. I mean, you were cute. You were really cute. You didn't need a big hat. Yeah, well, okay. I'm just saying, you know, I didn't think I was terrible, but I'm just saying I was, you know, it just didn't... I had no self-esteem, absolutely none. So even if I did look like anything, I didn't know what it... I you know, I had no... It had no I had no way to make it turn... I turn it into anything, so I just had no relevance to me. Something happened yesterday, I forgot about that, and there was a uh, stick hand on nuclear night, I don't know, I just woke up, I saw that, and I hang out there for like two hours or one hour, I don't know. And while I was on stick hand, uh, my cat came running out of the house, and it was really pouring raining outside, so she, she was at the window, you know, meowing and stuff, and I opened the window and she was soaking wet, like looking, you know, all bored and weird and stuff and with, with a little bird in her fucking mouth and I, oh god, I, it was so fucking disturbing I just shut the window and let her outside and she was marrying and she wanted inside but what I just couldn't, couldn't open the window again and see that shit so yeah, she, she suffered for like two hours outside while she ate the bird or whatever it did with it. Yeah, that's the disadvantage of young cats, you know, as they really, you know, they have to, you know, once they get a little bit older, you know, they get kind of lazy, and so, you know, they still chase, but they don't catch too often, and do much. I mean, my cat now, it's like he'll harass the chipmunks, he'll catch one, and he'll just with it for a while, you know, they'll like talk to each other, and they'll say, well, yeah, well, what's it like, you know, my neighbor whole scenario, he was watching with the cat and this chipmunk, you know, and it would, and it just, we wouldn't, it didn't kill it, you know, it just kind of messed with it a little bit, played with it a little bit, and just said, to hell with it, okay, you know, <laughs> and just went its separate ways, so it's like it's lost the killer instinct, but, you know, the last cat was just brutal, I mean, everything, it just, and it wouldn't eat, the, it only eat the heads, so it would just eat its head and just swallow the head whole. And it was just, a, it was amazing to watch. It was just, you know, it was just like an alien or something. It would just gulp it down, you know. I don't know, to me it was, I think it was one of the most disturbing things I saw. I, I mean, I did rescue another bird from one of my cats' mouth, mouth of this summer, but this one, it was raining and the cat looked like shit and the bird was all soaked and you know with the eyes closed and she was like Pew! oh no it was horrible So 
So how you doing, Anna? <sighs> Typing shit. Oh, it's too much to read. <laughs> yeah, well, Paul Ego isn't exactly social. <laughs> I mean, come on. You know, Paul will say, fuck you now and then. Yeah. He probably doesn't make friends that easily. Gary, did you read that link somebody posted in response to uh, one of your videos later in the week? I, I forget who it was to, but I, I remember the link. It was to a professor, a South African professor named David Benatar from Cape Town University. Did you by any chance read that? The guy's got a new book out. I think it's called like Better, uh, Better to was, Have Not Existed or something like that. Yeah, I don't know. Is that the New York Times link? It was the New York... Yes, it was. It was the New York... Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, I read that previously, so I didn't go to it again. So I remember, I remember it vaguely. But, um, yeah, I mean, it's, you know, it's a book that actually somebody was going to send me, I think. Uh, but I haven't gotten it yet. People say they're going to send me things, and they never do. <laughs> Which is a little irritating. And then other people, of course, are very reliable. Send me stuff they shouldn't. Yeah, well, anyway, I went and, I went and typed this guy's yeah, name anyway, into Google went, and YouTube to, to see if there was anything Google there on him. And I found a couple 15-minute videos on YouTube. I found a couple 15-minute videos on YouTube. Uh, interview that he did on some South Africa. Sorry. Uh, yeah, <laughs> sorry about that. A lot of echo. Uh, interview that he did on a South African radio station. You might have heard that one, too. It's pretty good. It's I'd say it's worth the 30 minutes to listen to him. The host, the host who's interviewing him kind kind of interjects her opinion uh, quite a bit, but uh, it's still a pretty good interview. Yeah, I haven't seen that. So yeah, well, if you want to send me the link on the you know one of my YouTube channels, you know, um, Doom Gloomy channel, I'd appreciate it. Yeah, okay, I'll make make a note of that. Probably probably send it tomorrow, not today. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, whatever. I mean, I'm so far behind in my life, it's just amazing. Uh, so much to do. There's no will to do it. This stupid arm thing is really pissing me off. See, I mean, I had this bad rotator cuff thing. I tore my arm all to pieces about six or seven years ago. And I couldn't even use it at all. I mean, I couldn't throw a baseball or do anything for a couple of years. And it got better. I mean, it just got better. And it's been, like, really good for two years. Now it's fucked again. It's just, ugh, really, <laughs> it's really not nice. Ugh. But, I mean, I, you can see how little things like that could just drive people insane over time, you know, with migraine headaches or some other kind of aggravation. It's just like, oh, man, it's just so, it just makes life so much more difficult. <laughs> yeah, what team would I play for? <laughs> Uh, the, the Minnesota Mashers. Is there a team in Minnesota? Uh, <laughs> I don't even know where the fucking baseball teams are anymore. The Florida Whappers. <laughs> what the hell are we baseball? <laughs> oh, that's so funny. I'm so disconnected from any of that shit. I mean, the last baseball I watched, I think I, like, I watched Mark, Mark McGuire hit his 70-whatever home run, and that was like the last baseball game I ever watched. Yeah, well, you gotta smoke when you're playing baseball. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, you, shit. You, you back on real cigarettes? Again? I could have been. Looks like the, I wasn't paying attention. I guess. Yeah, just for today, I bought some, so I've had three or four or five or six today. Um, but yeah, you know, I just do that every couple of weeks. I get some real cigarettes, and I say to myself, "Oh, I only have one, one a day." And yeah, of course I don't. So I just end up smoking them all.